going on from there? What? I'm sorry, I tend, to, I tend to babble. You can tell me to shut up. Yeah, it's all right. Do, 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 <laughs> that's great. Um, do you, in your your theme and the media, the media you use and, and the general theme, if there is a general theme to your work, how would you describe all that? What what kind of media is, is most... I don't, I don't know who said I have nothing to say and I'm saying it, but that's kind of how I feel. Um, I use oil paint. Yeah. Um, it's just I like oil paint. I like the smell of oil paint. Yeah. I've, I've always liked it. So, um, uh, on canvas or panel, and I sort of I, when I when we were when I was in art school, I went through the the, the abstract expressionist phase. You know, the fifties Rothko Pollock. I think you have to get that out of your system. But, but it taught me a lot about the feel of the paint. And uh, as I say, when I went, when I studied art history, I, I discovered Chardin, who was an 18th century French painter, and I just fell in love with his stuff. Um, oh, and um, the a, a lot of those, the northern northern European 18th, 17th century painters, I just I just think they're fabulous. Um, and uh, I, I don't know, it's what I do. It's sort of yeah. I I think I'd like to paint big history paintings or, you know, avant-garde sort of stuff. But this is what I do, basically, is paint still lifes. <laughs> sure. And you, so so it, the still lifes that I've seen are pretty representative of the most of your work. The Fairly one. representative, yeah. yeah. It's it's sort of, you know, it's a kind of an endless mine of, of, of material and, sure, and sure. ideas. One thing sort of leads to another. And I mean, there's a yeah. certain similarity, obviously, but it's kind of like playing the blues, you know. There's a, there's a, 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 a sort of form to it and um, yes. variations on a theme. Like, like we use the word blues and we use the word still life and, and it conveys some general idea of what yeah. this might be about, but it's not... Accurate about the individual thing there at may all. Be a, there may be a. My wife always sort of said, thinks there's a, Ruth. She thinks there's a, a, a story in the picture. You know, yes. she when there's a narrative quality. I don't always see that, but no. uh, she's yes. good at picking it up. And those seem to be the most successful ones. Yes. This is certainly not intentional, but no. um, well, for sure. When I'm looking at a painting, just it's just I don't I don't think it's just me. When I'm looking at it, I look for particular in the type of work you do or landscape I look for the story I look for the te the subtext you know mm -hmm. I want to have a story I want to know more context well and I think I think especially with with still life and small what they used to call cabinet pictures I mean, when I was coming up, it was the, the big thing was large museum type pieces, and uh, that I don't know where you would ever put them in your house. But still life is kind of like where you live for me. It's every stuff, you know, it's stuff that people have and accrue, and, um, you know, how you put it together says something about how you live, I think, you know, or how people lived. Yeah. For sure. So it becomes historical. People, yeah. You know, a hundred years from now or a thousand years from now, they'll be looking at some of your stuff and saying, look at the, th the kind of stuff they had around their houses. And, and <laughs> you know, it'll tell them something about our times. Yeah, except I, I tend to gravitate, like I say, towards the 18th century. So I try, I, I try and get props that are older.